Today we're going to practice um, making layouts and moving things around on a, on a Word document um, as a help to get ready for making your newsletters really pretty. Okay, what you need to have is an open blank Word document and web browser. You're going to go to a newspaper. It could be any newspaper, but LA Times is what I'm suggesting, latimes.com. Then you're going to choose an article. And it could be any article, but I'm going to choose this one, Politics Dictating Where Sequester Cutbacks Will Hit. I suggest you choose it too. You go to it. You are going to copy just a few paragraphs, maybe three paragraphs from this article. Command-C or Edit, Copy. And then you're going to go to your Word document. You're going to paste it in. Command-V or edit paste. One thing that I always suggest when you post from when you paste from the internet is where you can see down here at the bottom you have a little option to change whether you keep the text or source for formatting. Um, I'm going to keep text only so it goes to just the regular word format. Okay next uh, what you're going to do is you're going to now highlight this text again, copy it one more time, Command C or Edit, Copy, and then you're going to put it in a text box by clicking Insert, Text Box. So now it's in a text box, but the text box, you can't move it, and it is going to be in one shape. We want to be able to change our text box. So in order to do that, when you have it in a text box, you click Control click or right click. So on a Mac you click control click or else you right click it, click format shape. Now that you're on the format page, first thing I'm going to do is I like to add fill sometimes for some of them to make it just a little bit different. Um, I think gray is classy most of the time but you can change it to any other light color where you can still see the, see the letters. I'm going with the light gray click on line, you can add a line to it if you want to. Again, if I'm working in grayscale, you can add weight or dashes. I'm going to make it a thick line. It doesn't really matter. You choose what kind of line you want. You can have round sides or um, not. Anyway, it's really okay. It depends on what you're looking for. The final thing that I want you guys to make sure you definitely do on layout is to, sorry, is to click layout on the layout tab then you're going to choose behind text. This is going to let you move your text box wherever you want to move it. So click behind text, choose that, click OK. Now you can change the shape of your text box. You can put it wherever you want to on here. Probably want to make it big enough so that um, all of the paragraphs show up. Alright, I'm going to have it like that. Now we're going to put a picture in. So again, we're going to go back to this. You can choose the picture from um, the article, or else you can choose a different picture, a random picture. But what you are going to do is either copy the image, or else save it. I suggest saving it. Um, save image as, and then save it to your desktop. Probably makes it easiest to insert. I already have it saved. I'm going to click cancel. Uh, but you should save it. We're going to go back to our Word document and we're going to put it in. So don't insert it into your text box. Insert it over here. Click insert photo, picture from file, or else if you copied it, you're going to paste it. We're going to put it in there. Still, though, it's locked and we can't move it. So we're going to do the same thing we did right click or control click format picture, click behind text, OK. Now we can move it around wherever we want it to be. You can change the size. Um, you could also, if you wanted to format it, you could add um, a line around it or different features. You could add a reflection if you really wanted to. Um, I'm not going to because I'm trying to make this sort of uh, news-ish. Final thing I want you guys to do is add a headline, insert text box, so I'm going to just add any text box. I'm going to 
put my headline, same thing, you should maybe put it as just layout practice. Put your byline, that's your name. And again, to make it so you can move your text box wherever you want, control click, format, shape, layout, behind text, OK. And then you can just move it. your headline wherever you want it. Click off, looks good. Save it, submit it to the vault. And that is really all we're doing today. But you can use these techniques on your own newsletter if you want to make your own layout. Or if you're using a, um, a template from Microsoft Word, you can customize the template by moving um, the different parts around if you unlock them and then be able to move them wherever you want them, change the sizes and shape.